Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today is the most wonderful time of the year. This is Boxy Lux for December 2019. We're gonna be unboxing Try On Style. You guys know how I do, I always do Try On Style. I think it's fun that way. This box is heavy. I will let you know the weight if I end up seeing it. Um, I'm variation 19. And the theme is whimsy. So let's have a look in here. Okay, first off, I see IGK. Okay, let's see IGK. First class charcoal detox dry shampoo, a powerful dry shampoo that cleanses the oiliest hair and scalp with oil erasing odor eliminating charcoal powder, allowing you to go even longer between washes. I could have used this today so bad. I use like the Herbal Essences one, and I went through basically the whole bottle. This retails for $27, but yes, a full one. Let me know, do any of you have this? Is it any good? The second thing I got in the box, wow, this is very cool. This says Rituals. Um, the Ritual of Sakura Shower Gel. Give your skin the gift of a new beginning with the foaming shower gel from the Ritual of Sakura. Featuring the renewing scent of cherry blossom and organic rice milk, it uses a unique technology to transform the gel into a silky soft cleansing foam. Lather up and luxuriate in the rich and fragrant foamy soap, taking a moment to slow down and renew your energy. That's very interesting. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know. But moving on into the box, it's a big box. Okay, I know this is, it's so, so bizarre. I just bought this off of Sephora and I'm so mad. I don't get spoilers in my email, guys. I don't get the tracking, nothing in my email. I don't get any of it. I don't. So next is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This gel cleanser for all skin types has a cult following for the way it removes makeup, even mascara, without drying for soft, supple skin. It's made with amino acid, rich soy proteins, common cucumber extract, and a balancing rose water. Sensitive skin? It also soothes and tones with a retail value of $48. So that's really cool. I guess I'll be taking back my other one. <laughs> I've got the um, Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick, which is why I don't have lipstick on, um, in the shade Faking It. It's a long wearing, innovative, ultra matte lipstick with the staying power of a stain in the intense color of a liquid lipstick. And this retails for $21. I love the melted, um, latex. Then I've got something really cool. I've got the Elemis Pro Collagen Rose Facial Oil, a luxurious and lightweight facial oil infused with a precious trio of rose extracts to help the, smooth the look of fine lines and wrinkles, leaving the skin with a luminous glow. This retails for $79. Can't wait to try that out. I'm all about it. Next up is the QMS QMS line, Lip Line Corrector, formulated exclusively for the upper lip area. Lip Line Corrector targets fine lines and wrinkles. This high-performing lightweight serum is specifically designed to hydrate and plump lips for a smoother, youthful appearance. This retails for $200. Am I shocked? No, because I got to choose that. So, oh, I okay, well, we can go over my blush with this. I also did get the Ciate Married Light Marbled Light Illuminating Blusher. Add a radiant flush of color to your complexion with marbled light illuminating blush formulated without talc. That's pretty cool. Um, this lightweight buildable formula has a blend of matte pigments and finely milled illuminating particles. This retails for $26. And um, yeah, it doesn't have a shade or anything. It's cruelty free though. Definitely cruelty free. Next up, I got, ooh, I'm shocked about this. I got the Kat Von D Dagger Tattoo Liner. I've always wanted this too. Experience effortless winged liner with an innovative eyeliner specifically engineered for easy application on any eye shape, making Dagger Tattoo Liner ideal for all makeup junkies. This retails for $20. I know her formula is so, so good, and I cannot wait to test that out. Last but not least, in the box, I got the... Fairy Tales Storybook Cosmetics Eyeshadow Palette. All right, as I was saying, I got the Little um, Briar Storybook, and I got this in uh, Little Briar Rose. 
Guys, look how stunning these shades are to use today. I can't wait. It has a large mirror. It is looking like a book. It's very lightweight, so I don't think it would break during travel, but this is something that it looks so old, you know, old looking, um, just very, very cute. I love the detail, the print, the font. It's got the names under it. You've got 12 shadows. You've got three, four, five mattes and six shimmers. Six, six mattes and six shimmers. Oh my gosh, can I, can I even think? So yes, it, it features, it's a hardcover storybook with a dozen highly pigmented matte metallic and pearl eyeshadows. It's cruelty free, long wear, buttery smooth. It can be used wet or dry, mix and match to concoct your favorite spell binding look. This retails for $55. So guys, let's get into the try on part. Okay, I brought you in a little closer. The first thing I'm going to try on is this marbled blush from Ciate London. This looks actually really, really pretty. So it's actually a lot darker than the one I have on. Really, really pretty. That's gorgeous. Taking a little bit above. I take my blush everywhere. If you want to see a swatch, it swatches like this. It's really, really, really definitely buildable, super pretty. I am in love with it. You guys, this blush is so good. Okay, I should be done with the blush, Ashley. Done. Okay, you guys, I'm super excited about this. It is the Too Faced Melted Metallic. So it's a liquefied metallic matte lipstick. I had no idea. I guess when I was reading it, I didn't pay attention. Oh, but it's still really, really pretty. It's not bad. The formula is really, really smooth. It's really thin. I like the way this is shaped. You can get a really nice line. You guys are probably like, yes, but what about the eyeshadow? So yes, moving on to the eyeshadow. I saw um, on one of the influ on one of the bigger influencers that a little girl said, put on your lip color prior to doing your eyeshadow so that you kind of have a baseline of what you want to do with your eyeshadow. And I thought that was genius. So that's exactly what I just did. I'm going to take my Sigma E40 as per usual, and I'm going to take the lightest shade here, which is that shade. And I'm actually going to just feather that. It's actually the exact shade of my lid. So I'm going to take a mixture of this one and this one. And if you're at home and following along, those are Briar Rose and Spindle. Really pigmented, lots of fallout on the little storybook, but none on my face. As long as you tap off your brush, you should be good. So I just added those same two um, transition shades to the lower lash line, and now I'm going to take Grim which is this really nice plum shade. I'm going to add that to the outer corner, first plopping it down and concentrating it right on the outer corner, and then sort of wiggling it inward and using circular motions and relaxing my eye to get it right in that crease. It does take a little bit of building, but it is pretty pigmented. And there's no fallout on my face at all. This shade has very little fallout in the pan as well. For some reason, I don't know why. I have an idea of what I want to do, but I don't know if I'll regret it or not. I guess we shall see. And I'm just going to do the same thing on the lower lash line, just focusing it more on the outer third with that grim shade. Overall, I think this is looking really, really nice. I could just, I would love to leave it like this, but I'm gonna do something kind of out of my cover zone. I'm looking at this shade Kiss right here, and it's a duochrome. It's got gold and it's got um, rose in it. So that looks really, really cool. And I'm thinking of putting this in the center. So 
let's try. Let's see how it looks. You guys, this is super beautiful. You have to see this. Do you see the flecks of gold in here? It is so incredible. Like so, so pretty. I'm gonna leave this inner third bare as well. I wanna go in with another shade. But how gorgeous is that shade? It's almost like the Tati shade. It reminds me of the Tati sequins, except this has a little bit more to it. And it's just a shade that I've never seen before in a palette. And I'm very happy to have this palette. Look at this stunning. So I think that's good. I'm going to take this shade here and put that right on the inner third just to brighten things up just a tad. I like the way that looks. I just want to keep, I think I want to keep the pink all by itself because it's so pretty. Yeah, I really, really like that. Not sure what I want to do for the lower lash line though. All right, so for the lower lash line, I took Prince, and then on the inner part of that, I took Castle, and I put that there. For the inner corner, I'm going to take uh, Enchanted and just put that there. And same for the brow bone as well. And then I'm going to put on liner and lashes and come back and we'll talk about the box. All right, guys, I'm back. Lashes are on. Um, I love this eye look. I absolutely love that little storybook. I think it's so pretty, you guys. Look at the eye look. What do you think? What'd you get in your box? Let me know down below. I added everything up and you're never going to believe this, but my box is worth $495. Yep. And I'll tell you what I also did. There's an option for you to pay uh, boxy looks like in bulk almost, but not in bulk. Like you pay for it six months at a time, but it doesn't come out of your bank six months worth. So my boxy charm this month ended up being thirty one dollars and like eighty nine cents instead of the forty nine ninety nine because it saves you money over time. So. I did the six month prepay and I only paid $31.89 for my BoxyCharm and I got $495 worth of product. Now I'm so super happy with everything I got in the box. I can't wait to use it all. I'm super stoked, I'm like in shock. And I think that that eyeshadow palette is like my very favorite. I love the blue on the lower lash line guys. Look at the top. The shade that I'm most impressed with is that rose shade, that duochrome um, shimmer. It's so, so beautiful, sparkly. I don't know if you can tell in person. Um, I used the liner to try to conceal the lash band. I don't know if it worked. I can't see over these lashes, but let me know what you got in your box down below. If you're unfamiliar with BoxyCharm, basically it's $25 a month for a base box, and you can upgrade to Boxy Lux, which is $49.99 a month. And other than that, you do your quiz, you do a complexion quiz, stuff like that. There's other channels for that to watch. My channel is just Unboxing and Try On. Super happy with my box. Let me know what did you guys get in your box down below. And I forgot to check the weight on that. All right, I looked everywhere. There's no weight at all, but I got the variation. I think I said K uh, or S or something. I don't know, it's back in the front. I can't remember. Um, so yeah, look through my video list of all my other unboxings. I used to do Ipsy and I quit that. So basically I just do BoxyCharm and Boxy Lux. I do look fantastic. Try Beauty Box sometimes. Just whatever comes my way, I will unbox for you guys. You always know that I'm up front with you. I loved this box. I really think they listened to my quiz. You know, I, I actually love, love, love this lipstick. I would have never picked this out for myself because it says metallic, but they got my shade right. I love nudes. So update your quiz, you know, monthly, change it up and you might get something that you normally wouldn't and really, really love it. 
So I'm so happy about my box. Let me know what did you guys get in yours? Did you get Boxy Lux or the regular Boxy Charm? And yeah, I want to know what did you all get? Are you guys happy with your purchase? Are you going to do the six month prepay like me? I don't know. All I know is I'm obsessed with this eye look and I feel absolutely wonderful. I love absolutely everything and uh, I don't think it could get any better. This box has got to be the best box I've ever received. So thank you guys so much for watching my video. I love you all. Subscribe if you are not already. Like the video if you did. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.